European bison. The European bison, also known as wisent or the European wood bison, is a Eurasian species of bison. It is one of two extant species of bison, alongside the American bison. Three subspecies existed in the recent past, but only one survives today. The species is, theoretically, descended from a hybrid, a cross between a female aurochs, the extinct wild ancestor of modern cattle, and a male steppe bison. The possible hybrid is referred to informally as the Higgs bison, a play on words in reference to the Higgs boson. Alternatively, the Pleistocene woodland bison has been suggested as the ancestor to the species. European bison were hunted to extinction in the wild in the early 20th century, with the last wild animals of the bee. B. Bonus's subspecies being shot in the Beowovisa forest in 1921, and the last of B. B. Caucasus in the northwestern Caucasus in 1927. B. B. Hungarum was hunted to extinction in the mid 1800s. The Beowovisa or lowland European bison was kept alive in captivity, and has since been reintroduced into several countries in Europe. They are now forest dwelling. The species has had few recent predators besides humans, with only scattered reports from the 19th century of wolf and bear predation. European bison were first scientifically described by Carl Linnaeus in 1758. Some later descriptions treat the European bison as conspecific with the American bison. It is not to be confused with the aurochs, the extinct ancestor of domestic cattle. In 1996, the International Union for Conservation of Nature classified the European bison as an endangered species. Its status has since been changed to being a vulnerable species. In the past, especially during the Middle Ages, it was commonly killed for its hide and to produce drinking horns. The European bison is the national animal of Poland and Belarus. The modern English word wisent was borrowed in the 19th century from modern German wisent, itself from Old High German wisent, wisent, related to Old English wesent, wiesent, and Old Norse visunder. The Old English cognate disappeared as the bison's range shrank away from English speaking areas by the late Middle Ages. The English word bison was borrowed around 1611 from Latin bison itself from Germanic. The root wis, also found in weasel, originally referred to the animal's musk. The word bonusus was first mentioned by Aristotle in the 4th century BC when he precisely described the animal, calling it beta nu alpha sigma omicron sigma in Greek. He also noted that the Paeonians called it mu nu alpha pi omicron sigma. The European bison is the heaviest surviving wild land animal in Europe. A typical European bison is about long, not counting a tail of and tall dot at birth, calves are quite small, weighing between. In the free-ranging population of the Beowovisa forest of Belarus and Poland, body masses among adults are on average in the cases of males, with a range of, and of among females, with a range of. An occasional big bull European bison can weigh up to or more with a record of. On average, it is slightly lighter in body mass and yet taller at the shoulder than the plains bison. Compared to the American species. The wisent has shorter hair on the neck, head, and forequarters, but longer tail and horns. Historically, the lowland European bison's range encompassed most of the lowlands of northern Europe, extending from the Massif Central to the Volga River on the Caucasus. It may have once lived in the Asiatic part of what is now the Russian Federation. The European bison is known in southern Sweden only between 9500 and 8700 BP, and in Denmark similarly is documented only from the pre-boreal. It is not recorded from the British Isles nor from Italy or the Iberian Peninsula. A possible ancestor, the extinct steppe bison, B. priscus, is known from across Eurasia and North America, last occurring 7000 BC, and is depicted in the cave of Altamira and Lascaux. Another possible ancestor, the Pleistocene woodland bison, B. Shotensaki, was last present 36,000 BC. Cave paintings appear to distinguish between B. bonusus and B. priscus. Within mainland Europe, its range decreased as human populations expanded and cut down forests. The last references to the animal in the transitional Mediterranean-slash-continental biogeographical region in the Balkans in the area of modern borderline between Greece, Republic of Macedonia and Bulgaria date to the 3rd century AD. Its population in Gaul was extinct in the 8th century AD. The species survived in the Ardennes and the Vosges mountains until the 15th century. In the early Middle Ages, the wisent apparently still occurred in the forest steppes east of the Urals, in the Altai Mountains, and seems to have reached Lake Baikal in the east. The northern boundary in the Holocene was probably around 60 degrees north in Finland. 
threatened. European bison survived in a few natural forests in Europe, but their numbers dwindled. The last European bison in Transylvania died in 1790. In the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, European bison in the Białowieża forest were legally the property of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania until the Third Partition of Poland. Wild European bison herds also existed in the forest until the mid 17th century. Polish kings took measures to protect the bison. King Sigismund II Augustus instituted the death penalty for poaching a European bison in Białowieża in the mid 16th century. In the early 19th century, after partitions of Poland and Lithuania, Russian Tsars retained old Lithuanian laws protecting the European bison herd in Białowieża. Despite these measures and others, the European bison population continued to decline over the following century, with only Białowieża and northern Caucasus populations surviving into the 20th century. During World War I, Occupying German troops killed 600 of the European bison in the Białowieża forest for sport, meat, hides and horns. A German scientist informed army officers that the European bison were facing imminent extinction, but at the very end of the war, retreating German soldiers shot all but nine animals. The last wild European bison in Poland was killed in 1921. The last wild European bison in the world was killed by poachers in 1927 inches the Western Caucasus. By that year, fewer than 50 remained, all held by zoos. To help manage this captive population, Dr. Heinz Heck began the first stud book for a non-domesticated species, initially as a card index in 1923, leading to a full publication in 1932. Parallel efforts to reintroduce European bison have been made in Poland. Between 1920 and 1928 there were no single European bison in the Białowieża forest. The European bison was successfully reintroduced there in 1929 from the animals kept in zoos with 16 animals living in Białowieża forest as of 1 September 1939. The first two bisons were released into nature to the Białowieża forest in 1952. By 1964 more than 100 existed. A 2003 study of mitochondrial DNA indicated four distinct maternal lineages in the tribe bovini. Why chromosome analysis associated bison and American bison? An earlier study, using amplified fragment length polymorphism fingerprinting, showed a close association of bison and American bison and probably with yak. It noted the interbreeding of bovine species made determining relationships problematic. European bison can crossbreed with American bison. The products of a German interbreeding program were destroyed after the Second World War. This program was related to the impulse which created the Heck cattle. The crossbred individuals created at other zoos were eliminated from breed books by the 1950s. A Russian backbreeding program resulted in a wild herd of hybrid animals, which presently lives in the Caucasian Biosphere Reserve. Wise and cattle hybrids also occur, similar to North America beefalo. Cattle and European bison hybridize fairly readily. But the calves cannot be born naturally. First generation males are infertile. In 1847, a herd of wise and cattle hybrids named Zubron was created by Leopold Willicke. The animals were intended to become durable and cheap alternative Vesto cattle. The experiment was continued by researchers from the Polish Academy of Sciences until the late 1980s. Although the program resulted in a quite a successful animal that was both hardy and could be bred in marginal grazing lands, it was eventually discontinued. Currently, the only surviving Zubron herd consists of just a few animals in Białowieża Forest, Poland, and Belarus. In 2016, the first whole genome sequencing data from two European bison bulls from the Białowieża Forest revealed that the bison and bovine species diverged from about 1.7 to 0.85 mi through a speciation process involving limited gene flow. These data further support the occurrence of more recent secondary contacts posterior to the divergence between Bos primigenius primigenius and Bos nematicus, between the Wisent and Taurian cattle lineages. An independent study of mitochondrial DNA and autosomal markers confirmed these secondary contacts leading the authors to go further in their conclusions by proposing the Wisent to be a hybrid between step bison and aurochs with an hybridization event originating before 120,000 years ago. This is also consistent with the apparent Bos origin of the mitochondrial DNA. Some of the authors however support the hypothesis that similarity of Wisent and cattle mitochondrial genomes is result of incomplete lineage sorting during divergence of Bos and Bison from their common ancestors rather than further post-speciation gene flow. But they agree that limited gene flow from Bos primigenius taurus could account for the affiliation between Wisent and cattle nuclear genomes. 
Alternatively, genome sequencing completed on the Pleistocene woodland bison, and published in 2017, posit that genetic similarities between the Pleistocene woodland bison and the wisent suggest that B. Shodhansaki was the ancestor of the European wisent. Although superficially similar, a number of physical and behavioral differences are seen between the European bison and the American bison. The European bison has 14 pairs of ribs, while the American bison has 15. Adult European bison are taller than American bison, and have longer legs. European bison tend to browse more, and graze less than their American relatives, due to their necks being set differently. Compared to the American bison, the nose of the European bison is set further forward than the forehead when the neck is in a neutral position. The body of the European bison is less hairy, though its tail is hairier than that of the American species. The horns of the European bison point forward through the plane of their faces, making them more adept at fighting through the interlocking of horns in the same manner as domestic cattle, unlike the American bison, which favors charging. European bison are less tameable than the American ones, and breed with domestic cattle less readily. The European bison is a herd animal, which lives in both mixed and solely male groups. Mixed groups consist of adult females, calves, young age 2 to 3 years, and young adult bulls. The average herd size is dependent on environmental factors, though on average, they number 8 to 13 animals per herd. Herds consisting solely of bulls are smaller than mixed ones, containing two individuals on average. European bison herds are not family units. Different herds frequently interact, combine, and quickly split after exchanging individuals. Territory held by bulls is correlated by age, with young bulls aged between 5 and 6 tending to form larger home ranges than older males. The European bison does not defend territory, and herd ranges tend to greatly overlap. Core areas of territory are usually sited near meadows and water sources. The rutting season occurs from August through to October. Bulls aged 4 to 6 years, though sexually mature are prevented from mating by older bulls. Cows usually have a gestation period of 264 days, and typically give birth to one calf at a time. On average, male calves weigh at birth, and females. Body size in males increases proportionately to the age of 6 years. While females have a higher increase in body mass in their first year, their growth rate is comparatively slower than that of males by the age of 3 to 5. Bulls reach sexual maturity at the age of 2 while cows do so in their third year. European bison have lived as long as 30 years in captivity, although in the wild their lifespans are shorter. Productive breeding years are between 4 and 20 years of age in females, and only between 6 and 12 years of age in males. European bison feed predominantly on grasses, although they also browse on shoots and leaves. In summer, an adult male can consume 32 kilograms of food in a day. European bison in the Biowovisa forest in Poland have traditionally been fed hay in the winter for centuries, and best herds may gather around this diet supplement. European bison need to drink every day, and in winter can be seen breaking ice with their heavy hooves. Despite their usual slow movements, European bison are surprisingly agile and can clear 3 meters wide streams or 2 meters high fences from a standing start. The protection of the European bison has a long history. Between the 15th and 18th centuries, those in the forest of Biowovisa were protected and their diet supplemented. Efforts to restore this species to the wild began in 1929, with the establishment of the Bison Restitution Center at Biowovisa, Poland. Subsequently, in 1948, the Bison Breeding Center was established within the Pryoksko Terrasny Biosphere Reserve. The modern herds are managed as two separate lines, one consisting of only bison bonuses bonuses and one consisting of all 12 ancestors, including the 1B. B. Caucasicus bull. The latter is generally not considered a separate subspecies because they contain DNA from both B. B. Bonuses and B. B. Caucasius, although some scientists classify them as a new subspecies, B. B. Montanus. Only a limited amount of inbreeding depression from the population bottleneck has been found, having a small effect on skeletal growth in cows and a small rise in calf mortality. Genetic variability continues to shrink. From five initial bulls, all current European bison bulls have one of only two remaining Y chromosomes. Beginning in 1951, European bison have been reintroduced into the wild, including some areas where they were never found wild. Free ranging herds are currently found in Poland, Lithuania. Belarus, Ukraine, Bulgaria, Romania, Russia, Slovakia, Latvia, Kyrgyzstan, and Germany, 
and in forest preserves in the western Caucasus. Białowieża Forest, an ancient woodland that straddles the border between Poland and Belarus, is now home to 800 wild bison. Herds have also been introduced in Moldova, Spain, Denmark, and Czech Republic. The total worldwide population is around 6,573 and has been increasing. About half of animals are living in Poland and Belarus. Some local populations are estimated as. Since 1983, a small reintroduced population lives in the Altai Mountains. This population suffers from inbreeding depression and needs the introduction of unrelated animals for blood refreshment. In the long term, authorities hope to establish a population of about 1,000 animals in the area. One of the northernmost current populations of the European bison lives in the Vologodskaya Oblast in the northern Dvina River Valley at about 60 degrees north. It survives without supplementary winter feeding. Another Russian population lives in the forests around the Desna River on the border between Russia and Ukraine. The northeasternmost population lives in Pleistocene Park south of Chersky in Siberia, a project to recreate the steppe ecosystem which began to be altered 10,000 years ago. Five wisents were introduced on April 24, 2011. The wisents were brought to the park from the Pryoksko Terrasny Nature Reserve near Moscow. Winter temperatures often drop below minus 50 degrees Celsius. Four of the five bison have subsequently died due to problems acclimatizing to the low winter temperature. In June 2012, one male and six females were moved to the Danish island of Bornholm. The plan is to release these animals into the wild after five years of adjusting to the island's environment. The plan is that the bison will aid biodiversity by naturally maintaining open grassland. In 2011, three bison were introduced into Allerdale Wilderness Reserve in Scotland. Plans to move more into the reserve were made, but the project failed due to not being well thought through. In April 2013, Eight European bison were released into the wild in the Bad Berleburg region of Germany, after 850 years of absence since the species became extinct in that region. Plans are being made to reintroduce two herds in Germany and in the Netherlands in Oes Thardersplas and Nature Reserve in Flaveland as well as the Vilaway. In 2007, a bison pilot project in a fenced area was begun in Zuid Kenemerland National Park in the Netherlands. Because of their limited genetic pool, they are considered highly vulnerable to illnesses such as foot and mouth disease. In March 2016, a herd was released in the Moshorst Nature Reserve in North Brabant. Zoos in 30 countries also have quite a few bison involved in captive breeding programs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.